Hello everyone, welcome to Ginger Gear. My name is Gingerbeard, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create regenerating shields within Click Team Fusion 2.5. So, I, have, I made this little example here. I have a player with basic movement. I have a turret right here that shoots left every second. And I have two counters. I have a shield, and I have health. Alright, so in this example, what we're going to try to achieve is when the player gets hit by, by a bullet, he's going to lose shields. And as he's losing shields, if he comes out of, of combat and gets in cover, he's going to be able to regenerate their shields. Alright, so I'm going to real quick play the example. You can see we have no no bars up there, no counters. We have our enemy shooting left, and we have our player right here, jumping up and down. But if we jump into combat, nothing's going to happen because we have nothing programmed. So, we're going to go to the event editor. But before we do that, we do need to add four values. Alright, so we're going to click on the player, and we're going to go to the properties tab down here. And we hit A Z, and we're gonna be at the values, and we want to add four new ones. Actually, we're gonna need one more. So now we have five. The first one we're gonna name is help. And to also just kind of uh, clarify, you can name these whatever you want. But I'm gonna go on and name these help shields. I'm going to name the third one, Recharge Timer, and we're going to name this one Recharge, and the last one we're going to name Recharge Speed. Okay, so what these values are going to be, we have our health, we have our shields, and we're going to name them both I mean, we're going to both put them, their initial values, as 100. Um, we're going to need the recharge timer. We're going to leave that to zero. But we're going, to, we're going to name this recharge value, or not name it. We're going to set an initial uh, value to 120. And the speed will also do 1 for this. So what this is going to be doing is you're going to have each time the player gets hit, we want the recharge to fill this recharge timer. And then when it's filled up, we want it to count down. So when it gets back to zero, we want the health to recharge or the shields. And this is just going to be our speed of how fast it will recharge. Okay. So now, since we got all the values set, now we need to go into the event editor. And we're going to go on and set a group of events. Alright. So I'm going to name this one Shields. And in this, we want to start putting our first condition. And in this condition, we're going to check for when the player is collisioning with the bullet. And let's go and add a second condition. So we're going to right click and hit insert. And if the players, we're going to compare the value, which is going to be shields. So if the shields are greater than zero, we want to subtract. So we're going to come down here to the multiple values under player, and we're going to subtract 12 <coughs> from shields. Make sure shields is selected. Now what we're going to do is we're going to also set the recharge timer. We're going to set the recharge timer to that value we had made earlier, which is recharge. Because, like I said earlier, we want the recharge value right here 
to fill up and refresh the recharge timer each time you get hit. Because we want to make sure that value, the recharge timer, is zero before you can start regenerating shields. Okay, and we got to do one more thing in this condition, and we want to destroy the bullets after you get hit. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to create another condition. And this is going to be a little small check. We're going to compare the value of shields to check and see if it's lower than zero. And if the shields are lower than zero, we want to set shields to zero. Because sometimes when you have like a weird number, like uh, say each time you get hit, you 13 get subtracted to that uh, shields value, and eventually it will go into the negative. And I'm, sh and I'm sure you don't want to get past negative, because then if it tries to recharge, it has to go through negative before it gets back into the positive values. So let's just make sure that that's set to zero if it does land lower than zero. Okay, so now we're going to do another collision. And this one's going to be, if the player collides with the bullet again, but this will be the different thing. We're going to go to insert, and on player, we can compare the value again to shields, and we're going to check if it's equal or lower than zero. All right. So, actually, you could, if you want to, just do equals. Either way will work, but you can't just do equals. All right. And in this one, instead of subtracting from the the shields, we want to subtract from the health. Because we no longer have shields anymore, so we want to start subtracting from the health. So we're going to go to subtract. Instead of doing shields, we're going to be under health. And we're going to subtract the same thing. Let's just do 12. Okay. So now we're going to go and do the same thing that we did in the other one. And we want to set recharge timer to be refreshed again because even though you have no shields and we still won't when you get hit you don't want those shields to recharge until you're out of combat so we're going to come down here to make sure recharge timer is selected we're going to go to zero go to the player and we're going to the value and we're going to set that value to recharge because recharge act as a initial value so if it's 120 whatever you set it to it just refills that timer with that value okay so now we're going to need to do the same thing and destroy the bullet so we're just going to go here to the bullet and hit destroy so now we kind of got all the collisions going now we need to actually get the recharging so to do this we're going to go to our player and we're going to compare the value and if if the recharge timer is greater than zero we want to start to subtract from recharge timer so we're going to go to subtract and we're going to go to recharge timer and we're going to subtract one Okay, so now what we want to do is if we're going to need another condition and if the recharge timer is equal or lower which is going to be right here, equal or lower then zero and we're going to need a second condition in here and this one is making sure if shields are lower than 100 because we're making sure that these shields are are lower because we don't want to let it keep uh, recharging even if it's at 100 we want to stop it so we're just making sure it's lower than 100 okay so in this condition now we want to go on and set our action and we are wanting to add 
Well, what we're going to add is not one. I was about to put one, but what we're going to do is we need to actually go to our values and go to recharge speed. Ah, I'm going to take away that zero right there. And we want to set it to our recharge speed because we want to be able to have to be able to tweak that value outside instead of having to keep going in here to set our speed of recharging. Okay, so now we got that. And now we have one more thing that we need to do before we're done. Now we need to make sure, similar what we had to do to check for when it's lower, that if the shield's gotten to a negative when subtracting, now we have to do the same thing if it gets over than what we want. So we're going to go to the player, compare, and if the shields are greater than 100, we want to set, go to the player, set shields to 100. There. So now, we should be all done, but there's one more thing I want to do. And let's go on and set the counter so we have something visually to look at. So, I'm going to do an always event. So, we're going to go to special, which is right here. Always. And in the always event, we want to go to the health bar. Set counter. Go to the player. Go to values. And retrieve help. Now, we want to do the same thing for the shields. Go over here to the shields, set counter, go to our player, and we want to retrieve shields. Okay, and that's it. Now let's go on and check it out. So here we are. We are playing the game now, and we can see we have our shields and our health. They're all up there. And you can see our turn is firing. So if we get into the fight, we're going to see that we'll start dropping shields. Now if I move out of the way, you can see it's recharging. I can get back in, taking damage. I'm going to come out of fire, get to cover, and I'm recharging. Now it also, we can go and if we let our health drop, See, letting our health drop right here. And now we get out of fire. We regenerate. So, that works perfect. And you can go in to tweak all the values, uh, make it where it takes longer uh, to recharge, or you want to make it where you want, say, be, make it wait longer before you start recharging. Um, you can do a whole lot with this, actually. You can make it where you can do health instead. You don't have to do um, shields. You can do something more like Call of Duty where um, you get hit so many times, you have to take some cover, and it recharges, or any other game that does something like that. And it's really neat. And you can also do other um, type of shields. Like, you don't have to have it regenerating. You can always just take away the regenerating the regeneration function and just make it where you have to grab like armor packs or something and that gives you those shields to take that extra fire before taking down your health. And there you have it. Be sure to let me know whether or not this video was helpful by hitting the like or dislike button. And if there's anything you need to know, just comment down below. If you like our content, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload. Goodbye.